Now, in the previous video, we completed easy PHP. Please make sure that without easy PHP, we cannot be able to move forward for this video because without easy PHP, we cannot be able to configure multi PHP. Okay, so let's go. Multi PHP. So I will click on multi PHP editor. Not going into the depth because we want to make this series simplest possible. But still, if you have any doubt or you want an extreme level of security, so that time you can able to follow our YouTube channel and you need a technical assistant, you can able to contact us. We will provide you that. Okay, let's go. Here I will choose this one. So in our cases, we have chosen these four versions. So for demonstration purpose, let me explain you any one of them. So let's say 8.2. So in this case, we always has to enable this, this. So this is enabled already. So now we will go to the here maximum connection time mode. So by default it is 30. So in this case, I will enter 60. So some people need 90. Please make sure that don't enter a huge amount like 1500 and all because that might able to run your CPU con consumption and your server may get crash. So you may need to decide what amount you need to enter here similarly maximum input time that is 60 it is given so in case we can able to enter 90 120 and it is totally depend on what input you are going to put for the post and get method or a file upload so this is how process work so sometimes if uh, your project is all about uploading a 2 gb of file so 2 gb file uploading via php script get method post method or whatever it is it might take one hour so right so that time i don't know what you will enter here but we knows that 60 seconds is more than sufficient but uh, in certain cases 90 seconds or 120 seconds also can be set okay so next maximum input time so it is 60 seconds okay. how much time we need to uh, give allow to the input execution time is different and input time input means uh, passing a parameter and execution means actual consumption of server okay so input this is all about this settings memory limit 128 this is this is the standard one but some applications need 256 mb uh, memory limit or some needs 500 mb so now it is also again because here we are not able to give you standard numbers right but we know the standard number only if what you want from the server then only we can able to uh, decide which uh, memory limit we have we have to set so let's say we are running uh, application e-commerce so sometimes e-commerce need extreme level of memory so that time we set uh, to 256 okay so here you cannot able to consider things like uh, uh, we are running e-commerce means no that is not the possible if you are running as a dedicatedly one website on this server means one website one server one cpanel whm server so at that time i will highly recommend you to enter 500 1 gb 2 gb whatever you want because one website is consuming entire server but if you are selling to multiple users so that time if you set this number to higher so that means your user might able to crash your server so try to put some limitations in a proper way uh, post maximum limits so in this case i will put like around 30 mb okay so similarly upload maximum file size 2 mb because sometimes people upload unnecessary like movies pictures then uh, iso files games unnecessary personal usage because server is not for the personal usage right or they might be able to upload like a huge data like they want they are creating their own downloading website so it is not allowed because you are paying hundreds of dollars to the server and uh, you are selling customers like ten dollars or twenty dollars service so in this case how is that possible he can able to use a huge level of uploading so in this case you can able to put certain links so let's say for demonstration i will put 20 mb so when he try to upload about 20 mb so it is not about a C panel. I'm talking about PHP. So via PHP, if we try to upload a data on the server, right? So 20 MB is sufficient. So mostly we, we do not recommend a number like a 25, 50, 100 MB 
because people might misuse this function and will consume your entire hard disk so to avoid that we will put 20 for the demonstration purpose now we completed multi php ini editor okay so now we will go to the one one second one second here we completed for this similarly you can able to do all these three one okay let's go to the editor zone this is one of my favorite because security lies here the so mostly php is one of the reason because of that only server may get hacked yes you heard right only because of php server get hacked because cpanel is extremely powerful nobody can able to hack this server nobody means almost 99.9999 percent people cannot able to hack the server cpanel server but if you run a script php in that it has some uh, mysql inj injection possibility so that time cpanel company will not be responsible dedicated server provider also no, will not be responsible also if you are buying a managed service from our side is we also not responsible because you given uploading the php script itself has vulnerability means that php script allowing attacker to open the doors of the server that means someone is inside your home and he is doing illegal activities or he is allowing someone to enter into the server and that person is a php to protect that we need this setting so here for demonstration i will show you one setting here i will go to this file in that file just i need to choose or find one option control f disable underscore function this is the one we are talking about here we need to disable some set things so here we as a server provider we set some limitations okay or we set some names just to avoid the confusion let me give you a few examples okay so these are the examples that must need to disable from the server and usually we put around 20 to 30 commands but you need you must need to disable these options because this is sufficient one but if you need more list so you can able to google it because again the each and every project has a different requirement let's say process open in case if you are running a dedicated application in that you need a process open so because of that only you purchase dedicated server right so you don't need this option to be disabled right so we cannot able to say which has to be disabled and which not but if you are selling to your client so that time we always disable this okay but if your project need so you need to use this server for yourself again if you are selling to a shared hosting customer so that time we cannot able to share the entire this list because this is a conflict of competition so because of that we cannot able to share our standards but here at least you need to enter 30 commands or 30 commands which are not allowed to the end user if you are using this dedicated server for selling a web hosting okay but as you are using your this setup for your own so no need to worry so this setting this five to six options are sufficient for you now i will click on save make sure that this changes we did only for php 8.2 similarly you can able to do for the remaining three now we will go to the php multi php managed we are extremely sorry because here our motto is to explain about the how server work how cpanel installation work how to configure it but to share our standards is not possible so please uh, accept apology but we are trying our best to share you what we can share so at least you know how to set up the servers okay so here best part is when we did our ec apache so that time i forcefully said that you should enable this one so why this is only one thing because of that your wordpress your drupal application cms completion php e-commerce might able to face some issues so in this case they might face issues because cgi so we use this one 
and always try to set this setting SUPHP. So your application will run extremely soon. I just choose this SUPHP in all PHP versions and it will automatically save. You already seen here a green mark. Now, one more thing. Do you want it to set up as a default PHP version? Means if you create a cPanel, so automatically the certain PHP version has to be default, right? So in this case, I will set 8.1. If currently in the market 8.3 is running, so that time you're gonna be able to choose 8.3. So whenever you create a new cPanel or whenever you reset a cPanel, so that time it will automatically shift the 8.1 version or 8.3 version based on your project things. Now, here is the best part. What? From here, you can able to easily change each and every cPanel or domain PHP version. This is the beauty of cPanel. But make sure that if user wanted to change from his cPanel, so that time he need a Cloud Linux license. How to install a Cloud Linux? That we are going to share in next upcoming videos. Okay? But being a server, you might need a cloud Linux, Linux license to control the resources. So I don't need to explain about cloud Linux because a cloud Linux is nothing but your server act like a cloud. So if you allocate a one GB RAM to someone, so he can able to. So if you buy a web hosting, so that time from the right side, you will find some options like RAM, uh, IOPS, uh, CPU count, then uh, number of processes, entry processes. So that all things can be set with the help of Cloud Linux only. So make sure that these settings need to be covered. If you wanted to cover this setting, you need a Cloud Linux license for sure. Okay. So our video has been completed for the multi PHP.